so guys in this video we will see what is crlf injection uh, how to find it how to automate it and we will see some uh, reports and i will also show some tricks and tips to escalate crlf injection into some of the vulnerabilities so let's get into the video <laughs> So now first of all what is CRLF injection all right so here i am on my browser uh, this is the link it is by uh, ajitya soni he wrote he wrote this CRLF injection playbook okay so first of all what the word CRLF mean CRLF mean carriage return line feed injection vulnerability occur when an application does not sanitize user input correctly and allow insertion of carriage return and line feeds so this is what actually the scenario behind crlf injections so now so now uh, first of all what is the basic crlf injection attacks looks like uh, okay so a basic crlf injection attack will look like this you have you are having something like uh, you are something you are having something like wait wait you are having a normal thing like url like you are on a website https um, www.url.com slash the payload so if you get uh, this type of thing in the response like you are getting a custom header which is set cookie header and its value is like this thing or something you put here so this is a vulnerability you are able to add some extra uh, other headers using crlf injection okay so what is exactly like there are a lot of resources available about this thing on google but we will see something other things okay so this is the basic crlf injection payloads and other scenarios you can do open redirection via crlf injection you can do other things via crlf injection you can do xss via crlf injections we will see it now no so this is another uh, blog by geek for geeks for geeks and in this video and in this section you can see crlf injection attack it is an acronym uh, it is also giving the the basic concept about crlf so you can see that carriage return is denoted as slash r and line feed is slash n and whenever we hit enter in any situation so the slash r and slash n the both are executing at the same place right they both are working as same thing so now what we can do here is uh, like look you look here as one might notice from the symbol in brackets carriage return refers to the refers to the end of a line and the line feed refers to a new line new line slash n and uh, uh, carriage return which refers to end is slash r so now both cr and lf cr means carriage return and lr is line feed are used to denote the ending point of a line when a user request content on a website the server return the website content along with the http headers all right now the headers and the contents are separated by the de defined combination of cr and lf so it is because crlf that the server know where a new header begin or ends so it's a type of server side injection when an attacker insert crlf in a input field and uh, to deceive the to deceive the server by making it think that an objective has terminated a new one has has been begun so this happen when web application doesn't sanitize crlf character so this is the whole scenario behind crlf what actually happening is you are able to input some crlf uh, crlf uh, crlf uh, contents crlf headers to to receive some server side value to perform a server side injection to get or to set some other cookies and do a lot of other things so its severity is like p3 according to bug crowd you can also see here right now what you can base the so what you can do with this thing a very basic scenario is like this you can just type something like this get and you can do slash and set cookies the cr and lf and then you can do set cookie and then you are just setting the cookies right this is how you can perform an xss you are just performing crlf and this is the location location type you can also you can the type and the access payload all right you can also disable xss protection 
cookie injection which we are doing which we are doing like this thing you are just uh, making this type of request right and you are getting a res uh, response like this set cookie injection equals to what you entered the value of the cookie so what else you can do you can do phishing.com by redirecting it to something else where you add a location tag and you are uh, referring this whole site into the another site uh, like evil.com or something else so you are just performing a open redirection then you can do session fixation by uh, adding a cookie session cookie or http headers all right now you can also do some headers you can do web cache poisonings okay so what else we can do here i here i also mentioned the misle miscellaneous use cases like injecting a fake http response header injecting a fake http response header like content length equals to zero so what will happen so if you input a fake header http response header now the web browser will only print the next 10 bytes because you enter the content length 10 but when you also enter injecting a fake http response header now the if you, you here you enter the content length equals to zero now this is treated as terminated response and the web browser began pressing a new response so here is the mitigation always learn about the blue teaming if you are also doing red teaming because when you know how to defend it you can attack it more properly so how to like how to sanitize it or how to what are the steps of mitigation sanitize user inputs encode these characters so even they so that even when they are supplied they are not recognized by a server validate the user input and then the uh, <coughs> unnecessary header should be disabled so now that's the simple thing about it now we are going to see some POCs to learn more to learn about it even better so here are the vulnerable URL like you can see here this is the URL it is resolved right now the vulnerable URL is this and the at our, at our attacker added this type of CRLF code CRLF payload here and he is he's able to perform CRLF injection so this is a valid CRLF injection report it's here it is low here so let's see the attachment you can see that he made this type of request okay using this code and you can see that he performed that code set cookie colon crlf injection equals to crlf injection right and you can also see here in the response you can see that set cookie crlf injection equals to crlf injection so that's the valid crlf injection report all right this is a simple example of crlf injections there are also bypasses you can see that how to do open redirection via this thing crlf injection to xss filter bypass how to bypass crlf injection now crlf injection on starbucks okay so here it is the poc is here you can see that on this location like on this location our user our attacker is able to perform crlf injection and he also attached the screenshot okay so he attached the <coughs> he is able to do CRLF injection on this place. So let's check the report. I don't know why it's not zooming. So as you can see that the, he requested this sort of URL. He he tried to set this type of cookie, right? Set cookie uh, foo bar and something like this, and he was able to do that. So you can see that he requested this thing. Using, he requested the CRLF payload here in the email, email slash prospect and then slash then the CRLF payload and he is getting the response he, uh, he is getting the valid response that he wants to perform the CRLF injection and here it is possible right so now let's move to the third POC let's close this So you can see that he also got the bounty of 250 dollar so it's uh, easy to find and we will also see some tools to find this thing okay so now another crlf injection report 
now you can see that on the domain ads or twitter on the http response splitting is vulnerability uh, as per is vulnerable it is also known as uh, response splitting so now here is the poc mobile equals to landing equals to and then here is the payload i guess ah, yeah here is the payload so let's check the poc let download the video here it is downloading all right so on the other screen okay all right so look here here's the poc he's uh you can see that he's uh doing the crlf injection on this parameter as i said test equals to tested all right he's uh, also doing that request again he's just refreshing that okay now look here he's also getting the, the he's all okay you can see that when i request this type of thing including the payload then he's also getting test equals to test and the tested in the response section as a header so he's doing header injection via crlf injection he's just doing response splitting via this thing so this is all about crlf injection now as i said how we can find this thing or what are the tools we can use to find crlf injection so let me open the kali okay so here is my kali linux now we need terminal okay now we are using a tool which is known as which, which is known as crlf fuzz crlf crlf fuzz I will also mention the link of this tool in the description so you can use it out. This is the tool. It is based on Go module. So let's install this tool. Um Okay. Let's make a directory CRLF and let's go to the directory CRLF. Now we're in the CRLF directory. Now let's get, let's paste the command go install GitHub CRLF for the latest. It's downloading. So now it's done. All right. So what we have to do is just simple thing. Let's go to our Go directory in the bin, and you can see that here is the tool CRLF. First, let's copy this tool to slash user local bin. So here we have pasted that tool into the user local bin. Now we can access it from anywhere. So now let's go back to CRLF. Okay, okay, okay. CRLF. Now, now let me do a thing. Let me type CRLF fuzz hyphen h for help menu. This is the help menu. now how you can try to find crlf injection 
so you can you have just two options hyphen u for a single url hyphen l for a uh, other a uh, lot of urls so what you will do is you will try to do this and this too so let's take something like we will try here um we will try to do sub finder sub finder hyphen d let's try it hyphen h wait a bit okay okay sub finder hyphen d and here you can see that hyphen d is used to enter a domain let's try let's take the domain as um any random company now uh, let's take to wait a bit let's not do it it will take time what you will do is crlf first hyphen h now we will use hyphen u to see a basic working of this tool so crlf hyphen u what you, why we will use this hyphen u for entering a url which you want to test for that thing so our url is test php dot one web dot com and now let's hit enter oh wait a bit i think we made a mistake now here you can see that this tool is automatically testing for crlf injection payloads you can see that right now what we can do is uh, we can also use this thing as a uh, automation like what you have to do is you have to find all the live subdomains of that of that of the target like your target is like a tesla.com you you took you made a file you gather all the subdomains using sub finder or a lot of tools then you sorted them so then you can sorted all the subdomains then what you do is you can run httpx on them to find the valid subdomains which are working at that time and the last thing you can just run the command crls hyphen l and your file httpx dot txt and then just give output and now you can leave it and you will just do your own work you are just trying some other things using burp sheet and other thing so what this tool will do this tool will try all the crlf payloads on the target okay so this is how the crlf injection works and for advanced research about crlf injection i will mention some links in the description so don't forget to check them out so this is for the video thanks for watching like share and subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to follow us on instagram